perfect. Alright guys, back again with another episode of The Walking Dead Season 1. Part. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Alright, once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my tree house. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Oh my god. That just warmed my heart. Lee. Oh my god. I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? <laughs> Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? That'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. Like what? How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Uh, hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Uh, it's been three know. months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look. My dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Aww. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. 
Probably I not. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. Yeah, I'm enjoying that swing, huh? They look happy. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Yeah, are lucky out there. It have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Aww. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Sorry, you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work in the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. 
Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Found it. Not yet. Uh, what's up, Charles? It's got to be close. Okay, uh, recording. You know, it's what's up, his SYD. Your boy in here, you know what I mean? I absolutely forgot where I left off, but I know I gotta finish this gameplay for the fam, you know. Here. Oh shit, you found it? I remember it just, just was totally happening. I'm lost. Oh, we finna, we finna snipe a bit? Quick scope. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Put that out there. Empty. They were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you I find? Like the way look. A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. 
Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Jesus, is a kid mixed up in this? Was more like. Huh? The hell? I'm fucking mad. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> okay. Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there. You best believe. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time when I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You Bro, think I won't kill you? you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> that was a trip. Go on, tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. Oh, oh he did. He did. Dead. Not the how may I assist you. This whole working at Home Depot. Crazy. God damn it! Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. Don't give me a lip, nigga. You just headshot at that whole 360 no scope that been. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still. What a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Well, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tongue's in there. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. 
And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cat. That woman is a lifesaver. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Patrick says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. I know that way she licked it in mouth. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You um, said you would! Listen, did you, you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Oh, cow, bite you. If the cow's pregnant, where's where's the bull? Or the baby daddy yet? Just the artwork, or is that blood on the boxes? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katja, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No, why would you say that? Oh. Well, you're, you know, urban? You oh, bastard. You not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Is this what? Hmm. Yo, I have beat shit out of this. 
Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry. About what you mean, my boy? What you mean? Hey, uh, what you mean, buddy? Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. What you mean by that, my boy? Nigga, we need a screwdriver first, right? How does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Something not right, bro. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. You really like that gun. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. Exactly. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Something ain't right, bro. These motherfuckers just ain't ain't talking like like how normal motherfuckers would talk. They they talking like a motherfucker. Why y'all always playing with me, man? There you go. Oh, damn it! Thing is moving fast. We gotta cut this bitch off. We gotta cut it. Come on, hurry up. There, that should do it. Close up and hurry up. Oh, got the one. Fuck you, sir. Fuck you, Danny. Where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a bell. Damn it, Tom. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Appreciate it, boy. I'm gonna need that bitch to take her. Take your time, bro. Do what you gotta do. Hey, y'all can't let's get, let's get this shit. 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 Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. The 
Picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Bitch, I'm gonna do it by myself. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. Make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Damn, I gotta do this shit by myself. I gotta do all, I gotta do, I do all four of these. That's fucking lame. Oh, boy. Didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. You know, you're a strange guy, Lee. Well, anyway, uh, we best get going. Uh, I'll fix this door later. Oh, Excuse boy. me, we had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Fuck this shit, let's go upstairs, man. I love how I gotta switch the way I move because you know. Shut the fuck up. Hey, what'd you see saying? Shut the fuck up. Musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. Ivy, too, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Do they need so much morphine for? Candles. Smart. Huh, where is that cord going? I'm 
Just on time, but quit playing with me. Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had to stop. They could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's crazy. You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. I'm being a dead ass sick quick plan, bro. eating that. What is going on? We need to get the kids and everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I, I have raised to my y'all boys. Now, we got boys monsters monsters roaming around around that do nothing but eat hmm. people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to bed with. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the what? The fucking what? Put your what? guns down! We're walking out of here! Me my Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Whoa, bro. Hey. I'll kill you! I'll kill you. This motherfucker didn't crawl down the stairs, bro. Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. What happened? The man hit you. They threw us in the meat locker. We we gotta get out of here. If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches. Let us out, you sons of bitches! Dad, this goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Honestly, bro, like it's dang, like it's my fault. I'm gonna find this. Way out of here. Yeah, I'm up for you, child. I don't know shit. That's why you pray before you eat. Y'all would have had time. Dad, please. please settle down. Hmm. I'll rip their goddamn heads off. I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get uh, 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 Easy. Uh, oh, God. Dad? <laughs> He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Oh, shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead. He's not dead. You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! Good morning later, but right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! 
We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. Remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. We gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh well. Wake up! Wake up! Please! Is he breathing at all? No! No, I don't think so! Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna what? turn! You're putting all of us at risk, Please. you son of a bitch! Full. You're fucking worthless, Lee. Fuck! No! <laughs> oh, what damn. The fuck? It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry, him, bro. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? 
No. Is it over? She probably got like guts and brain juice on her lip, bro. Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know, but you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about you walk and talk to you? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get oh. out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. Not coming off that way. Don't talk to my boy, Kenny. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we've got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Gonna survive this shit. We got to work together. How do you expect Lydia to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. Yeah, okay. Come on, bro. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. You got to think about saving your own life now. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. Do what you have to do. Uh, I mean, the nigga dead. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna use it though. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Idea which pocket he keeps us changing. Is the man me going? Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. But he got his brain juice everywhere. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. <laughs> it's not coming Fuck off I'm that way. way. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Bitch, I didn't see you coming up with any ideas. Sit down, look. John Lewis House says Georgia on the corner. Well, here's our way out, Lee. We don't know where it leads. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I can find out. You think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it.
Damn, she being loud as hell. Gonna be incognito on this bitch. This is Jeff and Alfred. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Outside the barn. Oh, shit. Just going in the place like you said. <laughs> Sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Not that which one. Not the kid. I must meet on the trail. Uh, oh, I know. I know. You know. This is my favorite part, too. When I let one think they can just walk right out. I'll keep an eye on it. We ran it out of my hands. Take a look through the cracks. How the fuck I do that? I open the door and the man right here. Should have grabbed the chicken. That is a stupid ass man. Bear trap, looking dumb as hell. Fucking kill you right now. The 
That's why you killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like you didn't kill Jolene. You don't... I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Damn it, Clementine. What the fuck, yo? Didn't I tell you to stay in the freezer? Oh, no! Watch out! Let's go. I'll keep Clementine safe. I feel like I'm fucking up. I'm leaving a bad image in the head. My nigga! Lee? Ow! Shh! Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. They attacked us! I knew it! I told you we couldn't trust them! Shit! How many of them are there? Two left! Where? Larry's dead! They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us! Shit! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house! I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. Main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. And stick close. Yeah, yeah. And leave. Be careful. This is crazy. What you do? It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid. Let her go, Brenda. Please listen to me. I'll do it. Please. Don't! 
Rush his ass like funny. <laughs> Damn. Ooh. That was racist. Ah, oh, yeah, nah, I kind of tripping on that shit. Get up. Get up. That motherfucker trying to barbecue me, bro. He trying to overcook the meat. Chill out now, bro. I'll do it, bro. Lily! I wonder if she would have shot him if, if I hadn't helped her father. Is that enough? Is that enough? Are we done? Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dana Mama get out here! You, you all fucked. <laughs> That's why your shoes raggedy. That's why your mama dead. Dead as hell. What shoes she got on? What shoes she had on her casket? Coming. What do you mean, Lee? What the fuck do you mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Let's go home, guys. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! I feel like a man, man. Did you get out there? Oh, Let's go. Basically, the, zomb the zombies are, are coming back to him. That, that dude basically wanted him to kill him because he gonna come eat us again anyway, so that's fine. You need tripping on that. You wanna see me do it again? Hey Lee, I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but oh. you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we Damn, might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Okay, so we down two. She doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? 
Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. You got shot by a hunting rifle, bro. Uh, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. Hmm. There's gonna be fallout. 